Hi everyone, so here we are with the awesome 200 to 600 Sony G Master lens. It's a dream for anybody who shoots uh, birds or in our case more particularly planes in flight and we wanted to see how this would look uh, and work well with the FX6 here but specifically in this case with the Crozier zoom motor because we think that actually that would make this lens absolutely supreme for filming those distant objects and tracking them nicely. So as you can see, we've got it all set up here uh, on the zoom rocker and that works exceptionally well, I have to say, because it, this motor beautifully smooths out the start and the stop. So I can jam that down as hard as I can one way or the other and it does ramp up and ramp down from the total top speeds. So it becomes a really beautiful smooth zoom in and out, almost whatever you do to it. We thought we'd also add the clear image zoom on in the camera so that we could see how it works with the lens to give you another 1.5 times uh, magnification. So my friend Steve and I, and he does a lot of aviation filming, planes and such like in flight, wanted to do it with a big chip camera. And this lens, you know, is, is pretty much the only option. Uh, if you want to really utilize Sony's fantastic AF system, auto exposure and the uh, stabilization. And now with this lens uh, motor on, we've got the ability to zoom beautifully on shot as well. So my friend Steve and I decided to go down to Plymouth the other day, while we were shooting another job actually, and uh, went down on the hoe where you've got a great view across the bay to test this lens out on some really distant objects and see how smooth and usable this zoom motor was on this supremely long lens. So here's our footage, see, you, see what you think. So there we go, all that stuff was shot with mainly using the grip uh, zoom demand, which enabled us to use the clear image zoom in the camera as well. You do get a slightly smoother performance, I think, without the clear image zoom, and indeed using this is a bonus because you, you're not reaching up here or wherever you can get the grip. You've got it on the actual pan handle here, so that makes it a lot more usable to swing round uh, and it's very natural, you know, if you've ever done any aviation filming or, or, or wildlife and things like that, you're used to this setup. 
so uh, it's much more natural to, to do and um, yeah uh, this balances beautifully it's still quite a small compact package compared to some of the you know long lens rigs um, out there and uh, yeah I think this motor really makes this lens the supreme answer for doing any sort of long lens filming um, and yeah we've been really impressed with it again thank you got to say thank you to Crozier for lending us this to try out and um, I think actually we've given it a good go in most situations you would do it I've been out here trying to track some birds but of course whenever I've been out here there's been no birds uh, <laughs> but um, hopefully you've seen from that Plymouth footage that you know it really is supreme the autofocus is on all the time it's all autofocus that by the way so you can see how well that performs during the zoom and either side of it it's absolutely cracking the close focus on this lens has been amazing as well so you can focus within you know a meter or two i can't remember the exact specifications but you know we were that seagull you know that was only a meter or so away from the end of this lens at 600 mil so the close focus on this lens is absolutely incredible as well and we've just been you know dazzled by the lens and again this servo motor from Crozier is the perfect addition to it i really think it's it's supreme and uh if we can we're going to be holding on to this and actually getting some planes flying um when air shows you know start happening properly again so look forward to that there we go i've been john fry this is an fx6 with the superb sony 200 to 600 and the new Crozier Zoomer Universal Lens Servo Motor. So thanks for watching, see you next time.